Celine Pretty Girl is a licensed fitness instructor. She teaches people Muay Thai and all that dancing, exercise and whatever. Yeah? And she helps people to feel happier, healthier, stronger. And very important, sexier. Wow. Wow. My kind of girl. <laughs> she has a keen, <laughs> she has a keen interest in health matters. She's interested in the mystery. Why some people age faster? She's interested in the mystery. How some people seem to stay young forever. Today, you are very fortunate. Celine will share, will share with us the secret to anti-aging and how to reverse the aging process. That's in what Celine to speak on the topic, how to remain young forever. Another one is uh, this one is uh, acne. 
So what's the cause of this problem? It's due to the all this issue is due to the skin. It's called a skin microorganism called the motex. Uh, later I will show you about this uh, the motex uh, video. This one the motex uh, is a uh, everybody has this uh, the motex uh, problem. It's a matter of the more or less only. I have this uh, picture to show everybody. This one is a demotex of picture.
and you let the guy is giving a topic on how to double your money on each TV. So you can imagine who, where the audience is going to go, you know. So the, the title is so important and I think I like your title. I like it to say, how to stay forever young, okay. So that's good. And the fact that you're young looking will also help. Oh. Uh, you look fit, you look slim in shape. Wow. Uh, so you must walk the talk. And if you are really like, you know, weak and all that, and then you say, oh, forever young, you look at you. Forever young. Are you sure? <laughs> uh, I mean, I am young. So I, I was very uh, captivated yeah, with the information. I thought it was very informative. And, and at the end, you did come to a conclusion there was a solution to all these problems. Mm -hmm. Even though I did not look at all the pictures, I, I found it quite <laughs> sad. Uh, something that I'm quite squeamish in. Uh, area to improve. Uh, I think you're a bit nervous, but that's understandable yes. because uh, first time. First time. Mm -hmm. So if you stand in front of audience 20, 30 times, then you become less and less nervous. Mm -hmm. uh, good to use uh, pointers, you know, some laser pointer if you okay. can, yes. so that you don't have to go near the thing. So the people are good. laser pointer is good. And this is a very challenging topic. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, I think you have too many slides. Mm -hmm. So if you can compress it, maybe if you are just focus on hair or something. But other than that, I think you did well. Thank you. Uh, Richard, it's time to give some feedback to the evaluator. Thank you, Thomas, for a wonderful evaluation of uh, Sabine. Mm -hmm. I think overall, he had given uh, talking about what the uh, uh, strength or what are the area of improvement. I think as an evaluator, you have to be very critical and you can actually evaluate in her. First one is see the content. Is the content, for example, if you see is content, is it too much content? Is the title really catchy and is it really because it's to how do you stay young? Then talk about aging reverse. Okay, so you want to go to very specific and tell her what is good because it's not too better to put it very nice across to her. To make sure that she can survive and go out and sell. Mm -hmm. So the next thing is that the slides are too much slides. The slides you will is a PowerPoint you need to tell the slides are too much. First cut down the content. Then go to the slides, have more picture and very big bold words only. Not too much detail because I was behind trying to struggle every picture and every text. Mm -hmm. So you could suggest to her maybe to say that Okay, basically they talk about improvement the delivery. So first is content, then communication. How is the delivery? Does she have a very open, is it very engaging? Is the vocal variety very good? Because if you keep on looking at this, she's not having eye contact. You can't sell any idea. Nobody will get connected because finally you want to have the content, communicate effectively and able to connect with the audience. So in this case, you would highlight to you that he need to, she needs to improve the structure, intro, body and conclusion. Then the delivery start. How do you want delivery? And then she can really fit back, you know. A lot of people who do evaluators like to give the best of every best. I think as evaluator, your responsibility is to make sure that you give them good feedback. What is the area that she needs to improve? What are the places that she didn't do so well? But of course, in the way you deliver, you don't really to run her down. That's what you want to do because you also need to give a realistic feedback. But I think overall, the evaluation was good. But I think uh, we can be more critical and more constructive so that the feedback can really help her and she can really be successful in her business. Oh.